wonder, did the army receive my application? No Stop that! Here's this for you! Sometimes I don't hit Greetings, the comrades! Well. There you are. Come on, I found something incredible. Hold on, relax, man. I can't keep getting in trouble. I can't get expelled again. It's always about me with you. Me, me, me. I'm thinking bigger picture, and you're worrying about getting into trouble? You know what? You really are something. What bigger picture? I'm, uh, we are gonna take over this school. We are not taking over anything right now. Time and tide wait for no man, my friend. But it seems they do wait for a wannabe tough guy who's nothing but a little girl. You're full of it. So you keep telling me, look, now come on, I promise you, after this, things are never gonna be the same again. Oh, I'm so excited. I should have stopped taking those pills ages ago. Yeah, right. Whatever you say, Gary. Jimmy's gonna kick your ass! Right, Jimmy? Let's now go. I've got you! Don't stop! This is great! You're gonna hate me for watching! Look at the kids we go! Come on, girly! Fight! Get closer! I'm gonna make That's your life fun. a misery! for the job. After you! I'm not a pathetic loser. This is a little different from how I remember it. You better leave the way. Hmm, I think that switch over there. Would you hurry there, Jimmy? All right, I'm open for business. There has to be a way to get into the cage. You can't get in there. How can you get at the switch? Get in there! How can we get at the switch? How about you climb through that hole and press the switch? Hey Jimmy, 
Let's see if you can knock the broom over somehow. Make it hit the switch. Not here. Follow me. Now here's another switch I used to... Whoa! Five wires! those happening, but I've never seen one. Fire extinguisher in plain view. Maybe that could be used to cool the furnace. Extinguisher in plain view. Maybe that could be a fool. Mm. Oh, there's a fire extinguisher in plain view. <laughs> Quick, before it heats up again. place where this school separates the men from the boys, the wheat from the chaff, and all that nonsense. Okay, so what's that got to do with standing up to people, keeping them in line? 
This is where I stand up to you, my friend. What are you talking about? I know you hate me, Jimmy boy. I know you said all that stuff about me behind my back. What are you talking about? Don't play innocent with me. You want to run this school? I want to run this school. Only one of us is going to make it. And it's going to be me! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and morons, I give you Russell! Oh, man. Me, Russell. Gary, now I hate you. I know. Russell. Go beat that little jerk who said that nasty stuff to me about your mom and those barnyard uh, animals. What? Come here. Russell wants vengeance. Now, jerk! Ecstatic! I love to watch two morons beat the crap out of each other. Why'd you do it, Gary? I thought we were friends. <laughs> friends? You and me. I've taken dumps that had more brains than you, friend. No. I'm taking over this school. And you're just a liability. See you around, moron! Well done, Jimmy. Yeah, great. What a waste of time. You all right, Russell? Oh. Mm. oh. Yeah? Look, I never said anything about your mom or farmyard animals. You did it? No, but I want you to stop bullying weak kids. Why? Ah, because there are a bunch of kids around this place who need a beating, and you're picking on the few who don't. So I want you to leave me and him alone. Oh, okay. Sorry. Bad Russell. With Russell pacified, I could be forgiven for thinking my troubles at Bullworth were over. But this place is a rotten onion. Peel off one stinking layer, and there's another even smellier one beneath. Well, Jimmy, word on the street is you're something of a pugilist. No, sir. I never pugilized in my life. Really? And that you've been saying some entertaining things about me and some barnyard animals? No, I never said that. Well, I listen to things, Hopkins. You try and stay out of trouble. Now go see the cook down in the kitchen. Helping her might teach you some humility. Okay, sir. Hey, new kid. You're that guy that beat up Russell. So? What's it to you? Hey, listen, we like to box the noble art and all that. Why don't you come down by our gym in old Bullworth Vale? We should definitely hang out. Yeah, I've heard a lot of things about you. Yeah, whatever. Oh. Okay.
nice. Ah, shut up, kid. It adds flavor to it. Uh, you want to give it a go? Sure. Achoo. Achoo. Try and get some bits in it. I've got performance anxiety. <laughs> get used to it, kid. You're a man. It's all downhill from here, my friend. Anyway, what do you want? Nothing. The head sent me. He did? Oh, yeah! I need you to go to town and pick up some meat and other things for me. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm gonna have to put one of Ms. Phillips' cats in the casserole again. Okay. <laughs> uh, let me see. I need some meat from Yum Yum Market. Oh, and a razor from the barbers for my stash. And, um, oh yeah, some new knickers from Warren Inn. I've had these on since last term. <laughs> Uh, hurry up! Go, take my bike. It's that fine machine out there by the school gates. All right. Gross. <laughs>
classes already. Oh, you want people to just educate themselves? I'll let you on. This time. Stop that immediately. You're gonna wish I hadn't seen. Um, you better use that meat soon. The clerk said it expires at midnight. Ha! Yeah! Nonsense! There are no fuzzy eaters at Bullworth! It'll last for a month! Good morning, class. Are we all ready to cut something open today? the matter? Don't you like cutting things open? I kick it. There was never any doubt. Really, really need some help. Why are boys so confusing? I just don't get that. Okay. Yeah. Now all we gotta do is get back to the library. Sky out my Will you help me, buddy. please? They're so nice. Yeah. Um, I know who Pete is. That's just a little friend. Gotta get to practice. See ya. If I don't get that... I think I've got some mayonnaise on my pants. Help your fellow forward. School rules are quite clear on this subject. Quite clear. 
No alcohol on school grounds. Uh, You're drunk. Uh -huh. I can smell it on your breath. Huh? I can see it in your eyes. I'm not drunk. Drunk? In charge of children? What kind of monster drinks in front of children? A uh, parent? A disgraceful one, yes. You've got a problem, haven't you? Uh, I'm just under a lot of pressure. Uh. Well, I'm a kind and supportive colleague, Galloway. And as such, I think it is my duty to get you sat. Uh, do whatever you want, Hattrick. You always do. The head will find out about this. You okay, sir? Ah, uh, Jimmy. No, I'm not okay. I'm half drunk, and I'm about to get fired. Fantastic! Oh, I'm a washed up old drunk, and I'm only 34. English, you see, is a difficult subject to teach. I've tried any number of things to dull the pain. Yoga, meditation, needlepoint, looking at dubious sites on the internet. But nothing dulls the pain like scotch. Come on, sir, put that away. Are you mad? This is manna from the gods! Give me that! Let's get rid of this before you get busted. Oh, that's very kind of you, Jimmy. Miss Phillips is the only teacher to know about my vice. Take it to her. She will know what to do. Hello, boys and girls. I'm Ms. Peters, and I'm going to be your music teacher this year.
well, I didn't get it, but maybe you're just ahead of your time, Jimmy. School rules are quite clear on this subject. Quite You're weak. It looks like Hattrick and Galloway are at it again. Step up. Oh, yeah, sure. Um... <laughs> I wish I could do something Whoa. wild and exciting. Like, go see ya. they are. I think that's all of them. Thanks, Jimmy. You're welcome, Miss. Please, take this. I said I'd do it. Stop that or I'll beat you. Just what I wanted. I suppose you want to train again. This was my favorite company. Transistor when you come back. You can count on Jimmy. You heard about Mr. Galloway and Miss Phillips? They were, you know, uh, I guess so.
are planning to do something to Jimmy. They're so rotten. Well, I'm a bit of a skeptic, so I don't know about that. Can't let anyone know I still do that. I mean, like, come on, Jimmy. Bunch of thieving jerks! What's up, Melvin? Ah, greetings. Hmm. Jimmy, listen. Some ruffians took it upon themselves to steal my grottos and gremlins character sheets and won't return them. We're playing tonight. The whole situation is untenable. Grottos and gremlins? Boy, you are sad. Sad? I'm distraught! Role-playing is the high point of human achievement. In fact, upon reflection, I am prepared to offer a bag of groats to the fair knight, whomsoever recovers these precious screens. Do you accept the quest? How much? Ten groats. What? I mean ten bucks. Wait here. And you can have your pick of my wenches. Great. Alright, you've got something of Melvin's. Give it up! Alright, I'll give it to you if you beat my friend in a little game. He kicks you in the nuts, and you kick him in the nuts until one of you gives up. If you win, you get the sheep. If not, we keep. That's just stupid. Maybe, but I go first. Ah! Maybe I should go beat up right some now. other boys or something. Total Maybe I did deserve this. that.
Come on, I'm right here. Dude, you're small. Get back here right now. do care, don't you? <laughs> Almost caught me! Melvin. You have earned it, and don't forget about the wenches. Brilliant! All right! I wish. All right. Sure. 